CICD stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment. But what does that mean? Well, in DevOps, which is short for Development and IT Operations, it refers to the software development lifecycle. The steps are usually written out within an infinity loop since it's a cycle that repeats forever. The steps in the cycle are developers write the code, then it gets built or all compiled together, then it's tested for bugs, then it's deployed into production where it's used by end users or customers, then we monitor and collect feedback, and finally, we plan improvements around that feedback. Rinse and repeat. Hi, I'm Walt. Each week here at Linode, we teach you fun new topics, so be sure to subscribe. Now, in the case of continuous deployment, the main point here is frequency. Today, companies can ship new features within minutes. For example, Ticketmaster used to build, test, and publish pipeline deployments within two hours. But now, with CICD, they're able to do everything within just eight minutes. So how is that possible? What's this workflow like? Well, continuous integration, which is the CI, is a development practice that requires developers to integrate code into a shared repository several times a day. The code is verified by an automated build, which allows teams or the project owner to detect any problems early on. The project owner is one person in an organization who is responsible for the project that's being built. So overseeing changes to the code, making design decisions, and deciding how bugs should be managed. So back to the CICD pipeline. When the code is written and pushed to a repository like GitHub or GitLab, that's where the magic begins. From there, the code is analyzed and given a series of automated tests. Three examples are unit testing. This tests the individual units of the source code. Validation testing. This makes sure that the software satisfies or fits the intended use. And you have format testing. This checks for syntax and other formatting errors. These tests are created as a workflow and then are run every time you push to the master branch. So pretty much every major development team has some sort of CI-CD workflow. And remember, on a development team, the new code could be coming in from teams all over the world at different times of the day from developers working on all sorts of different projects. It's more efficient to build an automated workflow of tests that makes sure that everyone is on the same page before the code is accepted. It would take much longer for a human to do this each time. Some popular CI/CD environments include Jenkins, which is an open source solution, Circle CI, GitLab, GitHub Actions, and then there's Team City, which is a proprietary solution. Why use CI CD? Well, because it automates things that otherwise would have to be done manually. It finds small problems before it sneaks into the main code base. You can imagine that if you push bad code out to your million customers, then you're going to have a bad week or maybe even a bad month. It also helps to prevent something that we call technical debt, which is the idea that since main code repos are constantly being built upon over time, then a shortcut fix taken on day one is now an exponentially more expensive fix years later. Because now that band-aid of a fix would be so deeply intertwined and baked into all the code bases and logic. So what's the CI-CD workflow look like? Well, let's say that you have a team of developers writing the code. They use source code management like GitHub or GitLab. Next, you have the build. This is where the application gets compiled. This runs the package's installations. Then you have the release pipeline. This deploys the app, for example, to a web server. Now the fun part. We need a CI-CD system in place to make sure that our app doesn't have bugs or abnormalities. So in the build pipeline, I'll add a unit test. In the release pipeline, I'll add an integration test and maybe a UI test as well. By the way, some pipelines have a dozen tests or more. Linode's website has several good articles on CI-CD with topics on BuildBot, Immutable Infrastructure, Worker, and Jenkins. 
I'll include a link below if you want to check those out. For our last topic, what are some of the benefits of CICD? Well, three examples are shorter cycle times. This is the speed at which a DevOps team can deliver a functional application from the moment work begins to when it is providing value to an end user. It also leads to happier employees. Giving your engineers the tools to be successful makes everything better than having a manual solution. And also, it gets to market faster because code that has run through a pipeline and is now in production is making money, whereas code sitting on a hard drive somewhere is not. So to recap, one, CICD stands for Continuous Integration, Continuous Deployment. This might seem self-explanatory, but it deals with how software is continuously written, integrated, analyzed, and then deployed to its customers. Two, CICD helps to test new code to ensure that its logic makes sense, is formatted correctly, and fulfills the scope of the project. And three, CICD allows for faster speed in the marketplace, higher quality code, limiting the fears of technical debt, and creating happier employees. So, which video topic should we cover next? Let me know in the comments below, and make sure that you're subscribed to be notified of more educational tutorials like this. We'll see you next time.